video, and in this video, I will show you how to make a carrying case for Nerf gun, Nerf gun supplies, Nerf tools, modding tools, your special body kits, your DS's, your electronics, your Game Boys, anything you could think of. This is how to make a carrying case for it, because it's basically the exact same process. So, yeah, I'll just show you how to do that. Let's go to the making stuff. This is a carrying case. Well, actually, it's just a Hershey stiff, but it is a carrying case. So, in this carrying case, in this metal tin, which is a metal tin, inside is foam with a more metal tin. It's square. That doesn't look like a Nerf gun. In all honesty, this probably isn't even big enough for a jolt. I made it for my new 2DS XL. This shiny thing here. Oh, yeah. Great for when you're on the run. Because mobile games sometimes aren't enough. You need to play your Luigi's Mansion. So. In here, this is a carrying case I made for it. Because I don't want to buy a Pikachu case. I wanted more games. <laughs> so, we found a Hershey's 10 from Hershey's Chocolate world from 2014 and use that and I put some foam in there so basically the process is really 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 simple okay so first you'll need your case and a foam the same exact same size as the inside or bigger than the case I'd recommend bigger than the case because that's actually a reference and a measurement then you take your case, you empty it out if it's still full, or in my case, just open it, and cut your foam down to the insides of your metal tin. That way, hey, it's all nice and squishy in there, you know, all nice and soft, ready for your Nerf gun or whatever you want to put in there. Then, you take your object, the 2DS XL in my case, you put it up against the foam, not all in the foam because you haven't gotten that part yet, but on the foam and trace cut the actual device. It'll actually expand some due to the qualities of foam. So it'll have a nice snug fit. Then if you want extra security and not this, you can just glue the insides with I guess a model maker's glue or foam worker glue or whatever glue you use to bond foam to metal. I don't know because I didn't. Mine's already pretty tight fit. I like it that way. And I don't want to glue it on. Then you can just put your device or Nerf gun into the carrying case that you have made for it. So especially just for it. Nothing else. Just for it. See it's a very nice fit. I mean I could even do that and won't fall out. So, yeah. I want to recommend holding your stuff upside down open like this, but that's just a sign of a tight fit. Then you put your thing on, and voila! You have a case for your device, Nerf gun, whatever it is you want to have in a case, you have a case for it. Granted, this doesn't have a handle, but you could put one on. on. I didn't want it to have a handle, since uh, I this is kind of neat for me, so... Yeah, but if you have a case with a handle, like a briefcase or something, then yeah, you can, and you should. Because then you can actually, you know, carry it around, da 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 instead of holding it like this, and putting down four. But this is made of metal, so with the foam inserts, it should be pretty indestructible. I'm not going to throw this because I don't want to test that, but just in case, that's why it's special and metal and foam inserts and tight fit and all that. It will withstand. And an impact. I don't actually want to do this, but, you know. You know what I mean. So, just enjoy your new case. And that's basically the video. So, like, subscribe, comment down below what case you did. And maybe leave a link if you follow this tutorial so I can see what you did. It, and also, yeah, this is nice too. So, like, subscribe, comment down below, goodbye. Subscribe and click the little bell for more content.